Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am your Stahul. So in this video, I am just going to share the uh, kickoff coding challenge that uh, done last day, uh, 7th June 2024 uh, on uh, T4 Spring Boot. I will share the question and uh, share how, um, how can we uh, solve that question as well as the hands-on mail that we got. So uh, I just made a presentation for that. We can go through that now. So this is the slide that I prepared. So Wings1 T4 Spring Boot. So these are the contents, kick off coding and hands on mail. So this is the coding challenge that they given. So uh, in this, it's the basic root operation. We have to uh, write the we have to code the rest api services that uh, post get patch as well as the delete methods uh, based upon that we have to do and uh, we have to uh, in this it's mentioned you will need to add functionality to add and show card data so uh, i will highlight the structure so this is the structure that uh, first one id the unique id for card data so uh, we don't we don't need to uh, give anything for that for id because it is it will auto increment uh, so no need to uh, give any data for that and next model manufacturer year company body type price fuel type seating capacity these are the things we are going to um, uh, add post method we are going to uh, post the data so just uh, check uh, the sample product json this is the way this is the way we have to uh, give the data that model uh, city that's a car model manufacture year 2024 company honda body type sedan price uh, fuel type petrol ct capacity 5 so uh, these are the apis that we need to do car data add for that we have to give the post method so uh, uh, these are the four different operation crude post get methods and in this one in the post method get uh, the details the i already mentioned and uh, we have then uh, if it's okay that we can start in database means then the use uh, then we can return it has a response with status code 201 and uh, uh, here if you can see okay the model manufacturer here company body type uh, price fuel type city so capacity these things are given uh, these are the things that we are uh, up posting okay posting to that uh, that one and as response we will get the id okay uh, id one it's uh, that's the thing i already mentioned it will auto increment so we no need to bother about that one uh, based upon that it will be there so just uh, go through the um, entity class then you will understand in uh, hands-on section okay hands-on section you will understand and uh, if it's error means we have to return the error with status code 400 as the response okay next one is the get method it's nothing we have to get all the objects from the card data uh, model then uh, we have to return the response with status code 200 uh it's the way that we have to return the data and uh, this is the thing that we have to uh, return the uh, error code and uh, patch method so it's somewhat similar to the uh, mini project that we already done for our eligibility thing in this based upon the uh, id okay based upon the id we have to get the data then uh, here we are going to change the price uh, in that one in the uh, last mini project 
in that it was product i think so in that we updated the stock and price and uh, after updating we have to return the status code to 100 and uh, that's the thing in uh, pass method mm, so based upon id we have to do and uh, we have to get the price we have to update the price uh, for that we will use the set setter okay setters and last one is the delete method same like a uh, patch means somewhat uh, like uh, we have we have to get the data based upon id then uh, uh, we have to delete that one after that we have to return the status code 200 if the given id is not found then uh, not found with the status code 404 in this we have to check whether the uh, product is there or not based upon the id or else we have to return the thing in uh, test case okay in the test case when we're done uh, uh, it is uh, shows error shows error like uh, the error code that we that they need is 400 so uh, based upon the test case just to follow that uh, just uh, change to 400 then it will uh, uh, it will okay it will run so i will um, try to create a uh, project based upon this one with the test case also this is the hands-on meet that uh, i got on thursday uh, means that uh, uh, 6th i think 6th uh, yeah, june and uh, my digital pass everything will be there in ultimatics i evolved by 8th june like that it mentioned so um, we can check that one so let's open iEvol portal just click on the learning points then you will redirect to the digital page here digital passes click on that after that you will get on uh, another page my hard get there are eligibility eligible tracks as well as your digital passes go to your digital pass you will get that thing in that uh, you will get your uh, assessment name and uh, the date assessment time location as well as the complete address and uh, you can go through the instructions also just to be there before one hour before the assessment and uh, uh, check all those things before going to exam and another thing uh, i will try to upload the um, this one this car data uh, project as soon as possible and uh, uh, mostly mostly uh, they said it might be basic but in uh, before the poa session they mentioned like it might be it might be jwt will be there so just go through that one also i'm not insisting anyone just if you need means if you need means you can check uh, otherwise leave that jwt you can uh, check these uh, basic also no issues uh, that's it there's a chance there's a chance of jwt so i'm not uh, sure about uh, will they ask jwt so let's hope for the best and uh, uh, the thing that they may ask in uh, hands-on if it's basic means it will be based upon uh, here we have to update data based upon price rather than uh, the name email whatever things that we done in post method they can be used for um, patch also the, like the we can modify the manifest here uh, everything uh, based upon that we can edit so let's hope thanks for watching bye